Hi everyone. Welcome to the detailed analysis of SAT March 2025 attempt. Here we are going to break down on every single detail that you need to know as an SAT aspirant. I think we will start with English first. Yes. <laughs> so, Sanskriti, is it true uh, the way all the students mentioned immediately after their SAT test that the test was overall harder for English? Module 2, yes. We, we heard from uh, most of our kids that uh, it was harder. However, when I analyzed almost 10 to 12 modules from Asia, Europe and US, mm -hmm. it's partly true, but it's not absolutely hard. Okay. So what they really changed was not the question types or maybe the level of the questions, okay. but the ratio of questions. So yes, module two uh, in terms of ratio was different, but nothing I would say in terms of level. Hmm. So that means that was my next question because several students also mentioned that they gave one type of question way too many times hmm. as opposed to how it has been happening. So that's also true then. Yes. Uh, so I have a list of few question types which were more than usual asked. So example, this is something we heard from the students also okay. that uh, claims and inference were many for me. There were like five questions. So usually uh, how many are there? Uh, three. Three or oh. four, but this time it even reached to five of just claims and a couple of inference questions yeah. also. So we are looking at four to six questions, minimum four and maximum six questions each module. Hmm. So yes, that's a higher number to what we usually see. That was one. Uh, poem, something that is kids are usually afraid of, was not asked, but they increased the questions on quotations. So an excerpt was given and they had to answer based on the relevant quotation that would Work. So that was there. In BPQ, which is called the big picture question, main idea wasn't there, uh, main point wasn't there, but overall structure question mm. was there. And I'm uh, saying that usually it's one to two questions of overall structure, okay. a couple of main idea, but this time zero main idea and four overall structure questions. So yes, some question. So I think that, is that much variation is enough to throw off any student who is expecting uh, you know, a general kind of test the way they have hmm. been seeing it. Hmm. Yes, uh, yes, I think that that is true because uh, if kids go with the mentality that uh, these many numbers is max, so even if I'm afraid, I'll just have to handle two to three questions and if four or six questions come from it, it can throw them off. So again, as I said, in terms of question types, nothing but ratio, hmm. if it's a problem, it can throw you off. All right, all right. So, so, Sanskriti, based on your analysis, how hard will you say the test was considering all these variations on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being the hardest, of course. Uh, I would say it was a solid 8.5 to 8.75 okay. because uh, this was all reading and in grammar also it was uh, slight again the ratio change we also saw hmm. which was uh, in uh, expression of ideas transition questions and student notes question were higher in number and when I say higher and I've also seen in one of the US versions five student notes question okay. so it's initially started with bare minimum two then it reached to three but five questions in one module is actually a high number of student notes they're not particularly tough question types but yes again when again, I talk a about difference, ratio, difference yeah, in, a difference uh, format. Okay. in grammar surprisingly what I've noticed so was that they have almost removed mm -hmm. anything uh, other than subject verb agreement from the grammatical portion. I'm keeping right. aside the punctuation that was there as usual. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, no modifier questions or parallel structure questions or word okay. pair questions or even pronouns, which is which is still a persistent category that we have seen. Uh, if there were three to four questions, there were like three subject verb agreement and one pronoun. So I think kids can now just balance out the hard work and amount of focus they want to put on certain questions. Mm -hmm. So it, it should be a solid 8.75 to 8.5 based on the ratio. Okay. Level of difficulty, I would, not, I would not say that it was extremely hard. Again, just to clear it, uh, all these uh, ratings that we are giving based on how hard the test was, mostly depends on how was the module 2 because as we all know module mm. 2 is harder only when students do good in module 1 which is usually moderate yes. in difficulty level which was so which yeah. was so in english also module 1 was okay mm. 
let's talk about math yeah, yeah, yeah. i have been waiting for that right since the beginning <laughs> math yeah. is uh, something that we want hmm. to talk so math it was a mixed i remember speaking with uh, all of our students and hmm. they said you know some of them said oh it was usual hmm. and some of them said no it was harder so anything you have seen which made it tough yeah so i i think what made the test tough i won't still call it tough but what made it different from the previous tests is the an addition of some questions which hasn't been seen for the last four or five attempts okay uh, and there was nothing very tough about it if you are a very aware student who has gone through enough mock tests and all the blue books i think the test was not entirely a surprise for you so you mentioned blue books and uh, we saw that college board released four new blue books yeah do you think that was relevant to much to some extent yes not not every single test uh, was entirely relevant but again the question types uh, have you know a huge recurrence that is true for all the attempts not mm. just for this one mm. and if you have understood how to do these questions during your mock testing even if they change some values or slightly change the language you should mm. be able to go through it anything uh, so like i checked the ratios and there were a couple of questions even i saw like you mm -hmm. know most nearly means kind of a vocabulary question which mm -hmm. is not usually seen okay. anything you have seen in math being like Uh, vanished from maybe three, four attempts or five attempts, and resurfacing almost yes, after a yes, year. Yes, yes. So we have seen uh, percentage questions used to be very common. Uh, generally, see again. Don't get us wrong. We are talking about entirely a harder module two. Module yes. one is always going to be something that you can crack easily. But then we are talking about a harder module two, and in percentages, this concept has never you know appeared as a very hard question. But this time we saw that. earlier it was not the case so we saw the questions where they give you a bigger category bigger number of uh, people in a group maybe and then subsequently they boil it down to a smaller group using different percentage numbers and that has come towards the end of module 2 and if you are mm. not good with your scratch work you will definitely mess it up and mm. then i also saw not something that has resurfaced but uh, a question that has come for the first time mm. which was specifically for scatter plots where they gave you a grid of several points and then they asked you what will be the difference or what change will happen if a new point is added on the line of best fit i'm talking about the line of best fit with respect to the slope and the y intercept so that was something new hmm. uh, we also saw uh, you know good emphasis on uh, uh, questions related to 3d geometry where okay. they uh, you know emphasized on the surface areas and the volumes apart from that again if you are well you know conditioned uh, to go through all the kind of test be it hard or easy hmm. at the end ideally it should not feel like it was hard or easy it should just seem the same to you so uh, i think last couple of questions since hmm. we had us and uh, eastern versions as well hmm. any sense of repetition because uh, i remember when we were looking at hmm. the latter attempts of 2024 hmm. uh, the repetition was higher yeah. but in march do you see anything like that because in english i saw that in asia versions um hardly any repetitions i would actually say none but when i looked at the us version hmm. uh there were not many but approximately 3 to 4 questions which were similar from november december 2024 something okay. that you saw in uh, math i did uh, get this uh, point from several students that though there were absolutely zero repeated question hmm. identical i mean hmm. the repetition was there with slight changes in numbers hmm. so again not in a very big ratio as compared to how it happened in december several students said that exact 10 12 questions came uh, as compared to some blue books and all the mock tests hmm. that we had hmm. so this time uh, that's also a new thing thanks hmm. uh, uh, but then i won't say zero repetition uh it's just the same format coming again desmos is still being used no. uh if you are good at desmos you can just get it of several questions be it something related to linear algebra or advanced math uh harder questions mostly were composed of all these questions that i spoke about earlier and also some rational exponent questions so you have to be very good with the concepts without uh, a doubt and also you should be very well conditioned to do the test so that that was mostly about it 
uh, for math modules. So I think yes, interesting insights from March, and uh, mm. we thought to come up with this because it's believed that the March attempt gives the precedent. It's like a precedent of uh, mm. it says the how the whole year gonna gonna be like, and uh, there's few changes as Sumendra mentioned, and uh, I talked about. So let's just prepare the best for this year. Thank you so much. That's pretty much it. That was every single detail that you needed to know about the SAT March attempt.